one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it because you can. Hey guys, you probably noticed that there's no editorial story this morning. Um, I just didn't do the work to do one, but it was a late night. But starting tomorrow morning, we're going to have an editorial for you again every morning, usually between 8 and 10 a.m. is when it falls, usually, and that's California time. So if you're on the East Coast, it's usually between 11 and 1, um, right? 11 and 1, yeah. But um, today, oh, I just wanted to talk to you real briefly, just for a couple minutes. And today is July 4th, the 4th of July, or what they call Independence Day, Day of Independence. So I want to talk to you a little bit about freedom. You know, and here in America, uh, they say freedom isn't free. You've heard that slogan, freedom isn't free. Well, it's true. Freedom isn't free. Freedom costs. I served in the United States Army from 1984 to 1999. So I did serve over 90-91 Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm. And I remember that when we went to Kuwait, the United States military, to free the people of Kuwait from the uh, tyranny of Saddam Hussein, that freedom wasn't free, for sure. When we went to free those people, it cost sweat. It cost tears. It cost some blood. Missiles were sent. The Patriot, the Scud missile, they were sent. It costs to be free. So here in the United States of America, it's no different. There's a cost to pay. The part of the cost is that you, the American, you have to get out and exercise and assert your civil rights, your constitutional rights, your first 10 amendments and the 14th amendment. And I know there's a lot of amendments, but there's specific ones that really matter. The first amendment, the second amendment, the fourth amendment. Those are rights that we have to protect. And so, I'm <clears throat> just trying to keep my thoughts together. So, what you have to remember is that we live in a country that's government and law enforcement based. They say, well, it's a republic. Oh, it's a democracy. But to be honest, you're only as free where you're at as law enforcement allows you to be. If a law enforcement officer doesn't want you to be free, they'll come up with a reason to arrest you, to kick in your door, to stop you, whether it's on the street or in your vehicle. They'll come up with a reason. They'll make up reasons. And they'll write it in their report. And I'm not speaking bad about law enforcement per se. I'm really speaking bad about the um, the philosophy of it or the attitude of law enforcement that well, everybody's a criminal that's why we wear a badge kind of a thing so one of the ways to curb that is when you interact with a law enforcement officer and I'm not talking about a hey how you doing today all right all right man you have a good day you too I'm not talking about that but I'm talking about they stop you or they stop anybody and you have time record that interaction. They pull you over in your car, record, start recording, just start. Here comes the sun, can you, you guys see the sun ray? I can see it. Here comes the sun, baby, baby. Um, but just start recording them. The only way we're gonna, you know, push against Law enforcement trying to uh, take our freedoms is to assert our rights. The First Amendment, free speech, the right to free press, record, the right to peaceably assemble. And there's others, there's five elements of the First Amendment. But that's the only way we're going to take back our freedom is to get out there and assert our rights. People say, well... <laughs> It's a little crazy. Assert your rights? Yes. Because the government 
and law enforcement are trying to take our freedom. They are. They're trying to limit the freedoms that we have in this country. And the only way we're going to live freely is to record, to petition the government, to vote correctly, to be active in our rights. I want to thank all the military, those serving now and those who have served, their veterans. I want to thank all of you for the time that you spent or are spending in the military to preserve our rights and our freedom. The only reason that we can go out here today and freely barbecue and party and do whatever else you're going to do is because somebody wore a uniform in the U.S. military. And I know there are people that have spoken against the military to me. They've commented in my comment section. You know, I, I get all of the arguments. But when it comes down to the individual, I'm not going to knock an individual who served because in their heart and in their mind, they're trying to defend and protect our freedoms, our rights in this country. So thank all of you, military, veterans, everybody who is serving to defend our rights in this country.